welcome friends today we shall learn geometrical representation of a complex number this is very important topic suppose we are given a complex number z equals to x plus iota y then we can represent this complex number x plus iota by by a point then this complex number can be represented by a point P whose coordinate is X and Y. Let us try to represent this complex number X plus iota Y. Suppose we are given a plane. Suppose this is a plane on which we have to represent the given complex number x plus iota y and suppose we have two mutually perpendicular straight lines x dash o x and here is y o y dash these are two mutually perpendicular straight lines and suppose this distance is equals to x and this distance on this y o y dash is equals to y then this point this is the point p and the coordinate of this point p is x and y so this point p represent the complex number x plus iota y where this straight line OP represents the modulus of the complex number Z and the coordinate of this point P represents a real and imaginary part. X represents, represents the real part of the complex number and Y represents the imaginary part of the complex number and this plane on which we have uh, represented the given complex number this plane is called Argon plan or we can say it, it's, a, it's a complex plan or we can say it's a Gaussian plane here are two important points to understand first is the complex number z equals to x plus iota y is known as the affix of the point P and the second point is a purely real part or we can say a purely real complex number is represented by a point on x-axis same as a purely imaginary complex number is represented by a point on y axis and here we can add then x axis is called real axis and y is called y axis is called imaginary axis suppose we denote this acute angle is theta and this is right angle then this line OP is equals to square root of x square plus y square or we can say mod z is equals to this means the square root of sum of a square of real parts and imaginary parts and uh, the ratio of suppose this point is m ratio of pm over om is equals to 10 theta therefore we can say that is the x and this is y 
and that is equals to tan theta. This implies that theta is equals to tan inverse mod x over y. And this theta lies between negative infinity to positive infinity. And actually this theta is called argument of the given complex number. So this is the complete geometrical representation of a complex number. Thank you.